two words, the moon. This is the key focus of the fiscal 2020 budget being proposed by the Civil Space Agency today. Now, according to NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine, quote, we will go to the moon in the next decade with innovative new technologies and systems to explore more locations across the lunar, lunar surface than ever before. This time, when we go to the moon, we will stay. We will use what we learn as we move forward to, to the moon to take the next giant leap, sending astronauts to Mars. So the plan? A series of small delivery missions this year. Then we've got new landers expected, robots eventually, according to NASA, humans by 2028. And it's really looking to partner pretty aggressively with the private sector to make all of this happen. So here's NASA's request, $21 billion for 2020. That's about 6% higher than last year's request, but about half a billion less than what Congress ultimately appropriated for 2019. This includes increased funding to support lunar activities, including $363 million to support commercial development of a moon lander to take cargo and then humans to the surface, $2.6 billion for planetary science, $353 million to fully fund the Northrop Grumman-made James Webb Space Telescope, $1.5 billion for the International Space Station, as well as new commercial capabilities in low Earth orbit. And also noteworthy, deferred funding for upgrades to the Boeing-made space launch system rocket, the SLS, and the Lockheed Martin-made Orion spacecraft, which have cost about $3.5 billion annually. But I think if there's one takeaway in terms of the comments, Will, from Bridenstine uh, earlier today, it's really that NASA, and we saw this, and I reported on this last week and the week prior about the commercial crew program, mm -hmm. um, you know, to bring humans uh, back from U.S. soil to low Earth orbit to the space station. It's really those public-private partnerships and this push to engage the private sector more and more in NASA's pursuits to do all of this. Uh, and this focus on, on the moon. I don't know whether to be excited, because all of it's amazing, the idea that they can stay there and use it as a base to go further, or disappointed. The moon was 50 years ago. Well, what's what's been the delay? Oh, I think it's a little bit of both, right? So, yes, the moon was like 50 years ago, and why haven't we, you know, essentially colonized yeah. it up until now? Um, here's the thing. Other countries are working to get to the moon right now. A lot of experts actually think China could put boots back on the moon before the U.S. does. So it's disappointing, but it also really speaks to the fact that we're in this new space race, and the government is taking notice, and mm -hmm. we're going to need some innovation and some money to make that happen once again. There's a lot of potentially resources, water, et cetera, on the moon. Mm -hmm. You've had some notes out there suggesting that the first trillionaire could be the person who is able to extract some of those elements.